a heartfelt tribute, Lisa Marie Presley's matching tattoos with late son Benjamin Keough revealed in posthumous memoir. In a poignant revelation from Lisa Marie Presley's posthumous memoir, From Here to the Great Unknown, the world gets a glimpse into the depths of her grief following the tragic loss of her son, Benjamin Keough, who died by suicide in 2020. The memoir, which was completed by her daughter Riley Keough after Lisa Marie's own passing in January 2023, uncovers the emotional struggles and unique tributes that followed this devastating event. One of the most striking stories shared in the memoir is how Lisa Marie chose to honor Benjamin through matching tattoos. After his death, she felt such an overwhelming sense of loss that she kept his body at her home for two full months, a decision that raised eyebrows but stemmed from her profound grief and inability to let go. During this time, she invited a tattoo artist to their home to create replicas of Benjamin's tattoos, which included his sister Riley's name on his collarbone and their mother's on his hand. Riley, in a recent interview with Oprah Winfrey, provided further insight into this unconventional tribute. He's like, OK, do you have any photos, she recalled the tattoo artist asking. To which Lisa Marie responded, no, but I can show you, as she led him to Benjamin's coffin. This moment, described by Riley as both absurd and matter of fact, allowed for the precise placement of their tattoos, ensuring that they would mirror Benjamin's ink exactly. While the request may have seemed outrageous to some, Riley emphasized that it was a reflection of her mother's unique personality rather than an indication of irrationality. My mom was just very much herself, she stated, underscoring the love and connection that drove their decisions during such a painful time. Despite the discomfort it caused her, Riley chose to remain silent out of respect for her mother's wishes, acknowledging the surreal nature of the experience. In her memoir, Lisa Marie candidly discussed the logistics of keeping Benjamin's body at home, revealing that she struggled with the decision of where to lay him to rest whether in Hawaii, where she owned a home, or at Graceland, the iconic estate of her father, Elvis Presley. My house has a separate casita's bedroom and I kept Ben Ben in there for two months. There is no law in the state of California that you have to bury someone immediately, she wrote, detailing how the empathetic funeral homeowner helped her navigate this harrowing period. The decision to preserve Benjamin's body allowed Lisa Marie to care for him in a way that felt right to her, despite the unconventional nature of the situation. I found a very empathetic funeral homeowner. She said, we'll bring Ben Ben to you, she recounted, describing how she kept the room at a consistent 55 degrees and on dry ice to maintain preservation. I think it would scare the living F king piss out of anybody else to have their son there like that. But not me, she expressed conveying the deep bond and love she felt for her son. In the wake of Benjamin's death, Riley has been candid about the impact it had on her mother, stating that Lisa Marie often expressed how she felt she would die of a broken heart. This sentiment echoes throughout the memoir and the recent interview, painting a vivid picture of the profound grief that characterized their lives following this tragedy. Riley believes that her mother ultimately succumbed to that heartbreak, a testament to the deep, intertwined love they shared as a family. The family eventually held a funeral for Benjamin in Malibu, where he was laid to rest next to his grandfather, Elvis. Lisa Marie would be buried there later as well, uniting them in their final resting place. The matching tattoos serve not only as a tribute to Benjamin but also as a symbol of the unbreakable bond between mother and son a bond that transcends even the boundaries of life and death. As the world reflects on Lisa Marie Presley's legacy through her memoir, it is clear that her love for her children, particularly Benjamin, was profound and enduring. The stories shared within its pages provide a glimpse into the heartache of loss, the complexities of grief, and the unique ways families navigate such pain, reminding us all of the deep connections that define our lives.